Senator <coughs> Ruan, two seconds. Thank you, Cahir Lock. Um, I'm honoured to, to second this piece of legislation. That was a quick change around there. Did something happen? <laughs> but um, it's, it's a very important piece of legislation. Um, on a personal note, I became involved in activism um, as young as, as the age of eight campaigning to become an altar girl in what was a male-dominated space. I know you wouldn't think it now, because they're all shocked. I was an altar girl. Um, but it was, it was on the principle of the rights of gender and the, and the fact that I wanted to was be... Was it a winning um, campaign? Was it? it was a winning campaign. And I was one of the very first altar girls. I also was involved in a campaign to, to change loads of different school policies. And, and, you know, I believe that myself as a young person was well capable of making a political decision of where my vote should go. Um, I knew at the age of 16, after I met local TDs and representatives in Ancasan at a voting um, workshop, um, I knew when I left that room who I would vote for and who I wouldn't and who represented my voice and who didn't. And that hasn't changed up till this date. So people think that you're going to vote one way when you're, when you're so young and that somehow you're not mature enough and that view that you have then is going to change and you need to wait. Well, you know, uh, there's not much difference between being, tw between being 16 and being 18. Um, the majority of the research carried out um, for my contribution today was done um, under the lead of my 15-year-old work experience student, Owen, who is in, the, who is in the, the gallery today. He has worked for me all year, and he has led the research with 28 DESH schools, 50-odd students from 28 DESH schools carrying out research on the voting age. He's 15. He's, not, he, he's going to be 16 when the next election comes up, and he is well capable of making a decision on where his vote goes. And what we're seeing here today is a fear from the established politicians that the youth vote is not going to go their way. And that's why it's going to be installed in the amendment coming up. It's fear of a shift that the views of young people are no longer represented in politics. So that means that Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael are standing in the way of the democratic process out of, the, out of fear for themselves and where that, view, and where that vote is going to go. Um, those schools came back with, with huge amount of knowledge in, in, in relation to this field. 418 out of 600 and odd students that filled out that piece of research said they would vote if they were given the chance. They referred to LGBT rights, issues relating to the Eighth Amendment, homelessness, the rise of right-wing populism, the exit of uh, the United Kingdom uh, from the European Union, hospital overcrowding, mental health services, Irish unity and reunification. They know their politics and they are engaged. And I think it's, it's an awful shame to see us getting in the way of that here today. When asked if they would vote, so the, the majority, 75% of them, said they would take up that vote. And that reflects the turnout in Scotland in relation to when they lowered the vote. And they said, uh, in terms of influencing their voting decisions, friends, family, speeches by politicians, debates between politicians, one's own political beliefs, the traditional media, and political advertising. And they are well capable. And um, I was sent a number of pieces today in relation to what Fianna Gael sent out in relation to the amendment. So I'd like to take the last few minutes just to, just to actually show why they are not, um, they, they are not solid reasons to, to go against this. So one of the reasons from Fianna Gael, Minister Coveney needs time to consider the issue further. Right? That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. We are at second stage in the Shannon. Three more stages in the Shannon and five more in the Dáil. We all know that this is a long process and plenty of time for consideration. Another reason given by Fianna Gael, supported by Fianna Fáil in relation to their support for the amendment. The bill would create a divide between those who can vote at EU local elections and general presidential elections. Rebuttal from me. We already have a divide between who can vote in those sets of elections. We have already legislation for non-EU citizens being able to vote in local elections and deemed ineligible to vote in general, presidential and referenda. It is not a new, radical or unusual idea in Irish politics to set different eligibilities for different elections and I can't see how Fianna Gael can justify and block on that. Another reason given by Fianna Gael, it is not clear there is public support for reducing the voting age. Therefore, we need to have a referendum on the issue. Um, this is, this, again, it's a weak argument. I mean, we make decisions all the time in here where we don't seek uh, full public support on. Sometimes we just choose to do what is right. 
Um, the other reason, lowering the voting age needs to be accompanied by a civic education programme to prepare and inform 16 and 17 year olds from being able to vote. The new politics and society class needs to be given time to better inform the students. This is also a Fianna Fáil argument. The rebuttal is an extraordinarily offensive idea that it is only through a formal education programme that a young person can become informed enough and engaged enough to be able to vote. Young people are ready. They're here in the gallery tonight. They are ready and we should listen to them. Politics and society is a new leave and start subject. So what we, should, we all should remove our vote and go back and sit our leave and start subject. All of us are voting since we're 18. None of us had that subject. We, we, we've been influenced by our parents, our families, our neighbours, our environments that we're in. I have a 16-year-old who is at work all day today and has worked and paid taxes since she is 14 and she is still not going to be eligible to vote. We, we all I say, well, do you know what? You can contribute to society, but don't get a voice in saying who's going to represent them. Another reason given. There is an ambu ambiguity, there we go, I can't even pronounce the word, around the constitutionality of amending the voting age, a rebuttal. I would be curious to read the details of the government's legal advice on this issue. I just took a quick read of the constitution there. Article 16 sets 18 as the age for doll elections, with other parts of the constitution, constitution linking eligibility at presidential elections and referenda to doll eligibility. Nowhere does the constitution make any reference to eligibility for other elections, and indeed in Article 28A, in the section relating to local government, it literally says that the right to vote of persons in local elections will be determined by law. We are here to debate that law. The government's response is literally contravened by the text in our own constitution. The huge importance to get people involved in local politics is for one reason. Your local councillors are in your youth clubs, they're in your schools, their offices are at the end of your road, they're in your, they're in your youth clubs, they're involved in your GAR clubs. You get them engaged at 16 at that local level with the person that they can recognise in their own community who is accessible to them. You have them engaged at that time and you will be, be, enga you will be engaged by the time you turn 18 to be involved in national politics. I would ask Fianna Fáil today to consider, in light of the fact that their own manifesto states that they want to trial um, the, the lowering the voting age to 16 in local and European elections in the 2019 elections. Yet the support they give to this amendment does the complete opposite and pushes it further back so that by the time we go through the process at the end of the year, it will be too late for 16-year-olds to register. Um, I will leave it at that and I will look to Fianna Fáil to change their mind in the, in the next hour um, after we hear everybody else on the debate. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Ruan.